U.S. News and World Reports is revealing its inaugural list of the best U.S. states this morning. Thank you, John. It gives insight into how state policies and practices affect people's lives. Rankings are based on several factors like education, health care, and the economy. The fifth best state is Washington. The fourth is North Dakota. Minnesota comes in third. New Hampshire places second. And the best state in the nation is, drumroll please, Massachusetts. Charlie Baker is the governor of Massachusetts, and Brian Kelly is the editor and chief content officer for U.S. News and World Report. Welcome to you both. So let's start with Massachusetts. Is it because the Patriots won the Super Bowl? Tom Brady, Casey Affleck won <laughs> best best actor. Be Manchester the Sea, Massachusetts story. Is that it? They can't seem to do anything wrong. And frankly, <laughs> this has just come out, and I'm already getting a little sick of them. But cause they, <laughs> I mean, not, I'm not, enough already. For the record, we're not sick of them. <laughs> but Brian, what is Massachusetts doing right that we well, could so, all learn I mean, from? Massachusetts is a terrific education system, both higher ed, you know, Harvard, MIT, that whole crowd, and, and K-12. I mean, the, the test scores out of Massachusetts are really good. They are doing the right things on that. And then you look at health care. I mean, places like Mass General Hospital, yeah. Brigham and Women's Hospital, it, phenomenal. So. The, the, the economy is benefiting from all those smart people in, in the technology sector. So they're doing everything. You're quality of life. And they've got a, a quality of life, and they've got, a, they've got a pretty good political system. I have to, you know, the governor <laughs> can tell you all about that, but they do some things right. So, for, Governor, why is your state performing well in those categories? Well, I think part of it, as Brian said, is we have a lot of really smart people. We have a lot of great schools. Um, that has led to a whole series of terrific, what I would call, ecosystems around uh, technology and healthcare and, and finance and um, education and you put it all together and in this day and age in this kind of global economy and global world we live in it's a it's a terrific mix we also do have I, and I've said this before um, a bipartisan approach to working together people are okay with the ideas of compromise and collaboration and if you look at the success we've had policy wise in the education healthcare and economy spaces energy and a whole bunch of others they've all been things that have been done on a bipartisan basis yeah that's, People, it is interesting i mean there's a republican governor in what's generally considered a democratic state oh it's definitely a democratic <laughs> state there's no doubt about that but it's my mother the democrat always pointed out to me yeah right um, well massachusetts is number one for me because that's where my wife come, is from but anyway what i was surprised to see on this list was north dakota in the top five and and a huge influx of, of young people yeah. there. What's well, happening? Well, two, two things here. So there's a you know there's energy uh, development there. The fracking enormous yeah. uh, gains in, in income in a short period of time. So that's that's a little bit transitional. Maybe that comes. Maybe that stays. Maybe it goes. But the, the North Dakota state government is really well run, and they do a lot of good things in terms of citizen services. So it's it's not just they're just not like a, a flash in the pan. They've been doing this for a while. So that, that's a good example of a small state. Mm -hmm. They have a, a bonanza in, in revenue, but they've done good things with it. I'm fascinated, though, by the governor when you talk about bipartisan. It's not a dirty word in Massachusetts. You were at the governor's ball recently. You were seated next to Ivanka Trump, which says you didn't have a very good seat. So, <laughs> there's a lot of strategy that goes into who's seating where, who's seated, who's seated there. So clearly they think highly of you to sit you in that position. What did you learn talking to her at that dinner? Well, we spent most of the time actually talking about opioids and the opioid epidemic, which mm -hmm. is not just an issue in Massachusetts, but an issue around the country. And we spent a lot of time working on this on a bipartisan basis. And the plan that we actually developed and worked through our legislature, the National Governors Association recommended it to the other governors, and 46 of them basically signed on to it and said this would be a good way for us to approach this problem in our state. And what is that plan? It's got a lot of elements to it, but it's basically prevention and education on the front end, better training of uh, prescribers. I mean, mm -hmm. till very recently, you could practice medicine, you could be a dentist, you could be a nurse, you could be a physician's yeah. assistant, and never take a course in pain management or opioid therapy. Mm -hmm. In Massachusetts, anyway, you got to actually take a course and pass it now to graduate from any of those schools. But you didn't vote in the presidential <clears throat> election because you said you didn't really like care for either one of the candidates. I voted down ballot, but I didn't yeah. vote at the top. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and I think in some ways, um, my hope is that one of the things that happens going forward here is, and, I, and by the way, I would argue that a lot of the states are pretty good at this bipartisan stuff, not just right. Massachusetts. I would love to see Washington move in that direction as well. But very quickly, at a, at a health, I mean, health care was a key reason states made this list. It, did you send a message to President Trump when you met uh, uh, this week? Well, the governors have all talked to uh, both the vice president and the president and Secretary Price about how important health care is in our states. Um, that's whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, it's a big deal no matter where you are. Governor Baker, Brian Kelly, thank you both for being with us this morning.